Gordon's are on the line. Gordon Fenning strikes the bike into the basket. Paul Simmons getting the power on that little two-stroke Yamaha and uh, feet up on the footrest and powering on. Love this track here, done extremely well here last time. Good Cracking the front line out of that turn. That half distance, it's Paul Simmons. Right corner, you feel that? Right up the rear is 142, it's Bradshaw. Do one on me. Steve Bradshaw on zone, reliably, from behind, third run, Paul Simmons starts the last lap. Half a strike in front of Brian Simmons. Check a flag out for the first time and the first win goes to Paul Simmons. From Brian Cornelius, Chris Dill, Chris Hay, Gordon Fenning, Malcolm Beanie. Ladies and gentlemen, a win there for number 31, Paul Simmons. Second was 48, Brian Cornelius. Third was number 82, Chris Dill. Fourth was number 59, Chris Pay. Fifth was 119, Gordon Fennings. Sixth was 720, Malcolm Beanie. Seventh was number 42. Steve Bradshaw. No other finishes? 43.61. Miles per hour. And here we have. weekend up there at uh, High Easter near Chelmsford and he's going to prove he's a very worthy champion here today. Beach Street, Tom King's Trouble, Tom John Wilson. Yeah. 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 Lee Hover, and in seventh place, it was 126, Kevin Taylor. 
No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 39.19 seconds. An average speed of 44.85 miles per hour. One of them, I'm sure. Andrew Wilson, one of those three. Number five, Matt Number 101, Les Rumsey fights in there and gets on the inside. Canterbury Speedway. He's gone a little bit wide and Matt Everington seizes the opportunity and comes through on the inside, but let's battle back. Richard Smith. 
takes the win. Gareth Roberts, a critical second for him. Nathan Irwin getting amongst the leaders. Then Terry Massingham. Keith Webb. Oh, the 350cc solos is a win there for number 33, Richard Smith. In second place, it was number 7, Gareth Roberts. Third place, number 83, that's Nathan Irwin. Fourth place was number 213, Terry Massingham. Fifth place was number 52, Keith Webb. Sixth place was number 27, Kieran Holling. And seventh place was number 77, that 177, sorry, that is. Darren, Darren Sargent. Taking the place of 77, Tony Dart. The winner's time was 1 minute 38.20 seconds and a speed of 45.31 miles per hour. From the top then, 33, 7, 83, 213, 52, 27, 177. 1 minute 38.20 seconds and average speed of 45.31 miles per hour. Solo is a win there for number 18. Additional runner, Peter Lloyd, welcome back. In second place, it's number nine, Mitch Godden, fighting all the way. Third place, number four, Holly Allen, another additional runner in the programme. Fourth place, the 26, Mark Giles. Fifth place, number 29, Paul Knott. Sixth place, number 41, Darren Rolfe. Seventh place to number 12, Dean Garrard. Eighth place to number 17, Tim Mount. Ninth place to number five, Dave Hollingsby. Tenth place, 119, Gordon Fennings. And eleventh place, number one. The winner's uh, number one, and that was Blaster Bates. Bazza Bates. Bazza Bates, that was. In the winner's time of 1 minute 32.99 seconds and a speed of 47.85 miles per hour. On to race six, top of the next page in your program. And uh, number two, well, right. An additional runner in this one. Can't spot him at the moment. Let's see what we can pick up as they come out of his turn. Flat out, and here they come. Turn and here they come. Number 10, that's over. 
Jimmy Dart in second place, then Gareth Roberts. Tony Dart in second place. That was just on that 900. That was the first ride on that machine. There goes the checkered flag, Dave Ramsey. Tony Dart had to do it. From second place, Tony Dart. Gareth Roberts, full of sin. Don't be kind. Race six in your program. And a win there and a good win for number 10, Dave Rumsey. In second place was number 77, Tony Dart. Third place was number seven, Gareth Roberts. Fourth place was number 14, 49. Uh, fourth place, number 14. That was uh, Paul Austin. Fifth place was 495, Bradley Kite. Sixth place, 201, Lee Pittman. Seventh place was 28, Lee Cross. Eighth place was number 174, Robin Pelcher. Ninth was number 39, Gary Hayward. The winner's time at 1 minute 33.67 seconds, an average speed of 47.5 miles per hour.
they come. One man got left on the start there, that's a bit unfortunate. One to eight, Martin Cup and Jake Durrell. Another run problem. One to four. Another one to five. Martin Cuff and Jason Ralph are ex-British champions in their own right, leading this one from one to Jason Ralph. In second place, it was number seven, Erwin Bauman, and I'd say Ken Jarvis. I could be wrong. Might be Odin Castle. In third place, it was number two, oh nine, Ron Jarvis and Michael Moore. In fourth place, 27, Clive Holland, Neil Marshall. And in fifth place, number 19, Dominic Dorn and Peter Taylor. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 50.43 seconds, an average speed of 40.31 miles per hour. Would it be nice to come put a microphone in front of Emma? 
see what she's got to say after this. 142, Terry Nicholas and Richard Murray take the checkered flag. Steve Maitland and Dave Holland take second. It's race nine, the left hand side cars are win there for 142, Terry Nicholas and Richard Murray. In second place is 121, Steve Maitland and Dave Hollands. Third place to number 60, Kev Bovis and Emma Tickner. Fourth place to number eight, Richard Grayson and the Paul Grayson, sorry, and Richard Fremantle. Now are the finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 54.40 seconds, an average speed of 38.89 miles per hour. James. In third place was number five, Mick Cave and Dave Hogan on the comeback trail. In fourth place was number 18, Duncan Fish and Malcolm Ivey. Fifth place was number 16, Mark Sharrock and Kevin Fuller. Sixth place, number eight, Ian Amis and T. Picard. Now are the winners, no, no, the finishes. The winners time, 1 minute 31.11 seconds, an average speed of 55.31 miles per hour.
Come to the finish. Jason Glenny, second place to number 62, Mick Tull, Tony Baseby, third place to number 14, uh, Neil Owen, and I another, fourth place to number 9, Lee Ryan, Nicky Owen, fifth place to number 21, Simon Wall, and I another, sixth place to number 52, Andy Stevens and Wayne Apps. The winner's time was 1 minute 27.99 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Simmons is bunched up on that corner and uh, each smoke one another up as Paul Simmons gets away. And it's one, two, four, Keith Strubwick there in second place. Well, Paul Simmons going very well here last year and he's going exceptionally well here this afternoon. One, two, four, Keith Strubwick's in second place. Through comes John Pilcher to third, Chris May in fourth. <laughs> Paul uh, Simmons flat out out of this corner. Two more laps to go from one, two, four. Keith Strudwick is in second place. Then it's John Pilcher, Chris Pay, Colin Mandry. Paul Simmons leading it down the back straight. Paul Simmons squirting on that throttle. There's the last lap flag, followed by Keith Strudwick. In third place is 49, John Pilcher. Then it's Chris Mayen. Lap three. Lap three. pushed his machine onto the centre green. Flat out and going for it, 31. Paul Simmons takes the chequered flag from Keith Strudwick in second place. And it's John Pilcher. Chris Pye, Colin Mandry. Team, the 250cc solos, a win there for number 31, Paul Simmons. Second place to number 124, Keith Strudwick. Third place to number 49, John Pilcher. Fifth place to 59, Chris Pye. And in fifth place, number 122, Colin Mandry. Now the finishers, the winner's time is 1 minute 42.14 seconds, a speed of 49.34 miles per hour.
Kevin Taylor. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 43.72 seconds, an average speed of 48.59 miles per hour. CC Solos, a win there for number 300, Wokey Giles, in second place was 101, Les Rumsey, obviously, uh, no, second place, yeah, second place 101, Les Rumsey, obviously saving yourself now for the final, in third place is number 7, Gareth Roberts, fourth place was number 19, Chris Mills, fifth place was 65, Lee Bartlett, sixth place was 213, Terry Massingham, seventh place was number 52, Keith Webb, the winner's time was number 38.33 seconds, an average speed of 55.25. on the inside line, Matt Edrington behind the wider outside line. Race 18, Richard Smith and Matt Edrington behind the wider outside line. Brian Cornelius holding on the third, then Walter Neiman first, but it's 33. Richard Smith. From Matt Edrington. Brian Cornelius, Walter Neiman, Nathan Irwin. Richard Smith at half distance from Matt Edrington. Brian Cornelius, Nathan Irwin. Last lap, Frankie Dale, Richard Smith. 
behind me. One lap from victory from Matt Edrington in second place, then it's 48. Ryan Morley, Nathan Irwin. Nathan CC Solos, a win there for number 33, Richard Smith. In second place was number 5, Matt Edrington. Third place, to number 48, Warren Cornelius. Fourth place, to number 83, Nathan Irwin. Fifth place, to number 172, Walter Neem. Sixth place, to number 177, Darren Sargent. And in seventh place, number 27, Kieran Holling. The winner's time was 1 minute 37.74 seconds, an average speed of 51.56 miles per hour. Peter Lloyd leads it. He's an additional runner in this one, and so is number four, Holly Allen. Not sure if I picked up a rear puncture or something, but uh, something caused him to go very wide then. Holly Allen nips up on the inside, and then a back tyre fully inflated. Trying the long way around and keeping the revs up, keeping the motor flying, it's Peter Lloyd. About half distance ahead of Holly Allen, and then the full off, and then the uh, right, 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 right. Peter Lloyd takes the last lap flag from Holly Allen. Full knot this day, sir. Then Dave Ramsey, then Paul Knott, Dean Garrett, Bradley Kite, Lee Cross. And there was a win there for one of the additional runners, number 18, Peter Lloyd. Second place is the other additional runner, number 4, Ollie Allen. In third place was number 10, Dave Ramsey. Fourth place was 29, Paul Knott. Fifth place was number 12, Dean Garrett. Sixth place was number 495, Bradley Kite. Seventh place was number 28, Lee Cross. Eighth place was number 174, Robin Pilcher. Ninth place was 65, Lee Bartlett. And tenth place was number 5, Dave Hollingsby. The winner's time, 1 minute 33.16 seconds, an average speed of 54.10 miles per hour. Goes 
through Fishgotten's trying to make up a bit of lost ground. They've got two more laps to go. Fishgotten makes his move on the outside. Carl Bell, Steve Maitland, Dave Hollins. 
Laurent Holland and Neil Marshall, Paul Grayson and Richard Fremantle. Number 18, Rob Heath and Andy Butler. Second place, number 25, Tony Benford and Carl Bell. Third place, number 121, Steve Bacon and Dave Hollands. Fourth place, number 27, Clive Holland and Neil Marshall. Fifth place, and number 8, Paul Grayson and Richard Fremantle. The winner's time is 1 minute 50.58 seconds. 45.57 miles per hour. It's 18, 25, 121, 27. Eight. One minute fifty point five.
Dennis Grohill and Colin Clark making a move there from fourth up to third on that corner. Marty Cuff, Jason Ralph, no mess in there, they're away with it. But they're in four three, Hill Phillips, Ali Thomas, right there in second place.
second place, number 13, John Halsey and Jason Glenny. In third place was number four, James Rogers and Damien James. And in fourth place was number 121, Steve Smith and Alan Green. Fifth place, number 247, Harry and Michael Ross. No sixth finisher. The winner's time is 1 minute 27.05 seconds. An average speed of 51.15 miles per hour.
Mick Cave and Dave Hogan having his debut run here this afternoon. Certainly seems in competitive form. Is the rule of the X up over as it comes to the end of this break? The 74 and Photos and a lovely story on Tony Black. 
Apart from Lee Street now, the last man to win the 250 title from this centre. Lee Street, Bruce Champion. Not making any mistakes here. Second place is John Pilcher. Followed by Chris Pay. Then Chris Still. Kevin Taylor. Lee Street. John Pilcher, Chris Pay, Chris Still, Kevin Taylor. Lee Street, powering out of the turn. A lovely tight corner there for him. At half distance, totally in control. John Pilcher in second place. Then Chris Pay, then Chris Still. Side of Matt Edrington, Matt Edrington holding on to it from Gareth Roberts from Lee Bartlett now in third, then it's 19 Chris Mills, then Darren Sargent, then Walter Dean, then Kieran Holly. Gareth Roberts holding the inside line, cracking on the throttle and powering around that turn. It's number five. Russell Edrington at ease from seven. Gareth Roberts from Lee Bartlett from Chris Mills. and then Lee Bartlett, then Chris Mills. Seven. In second place was number seven, 
And Gareth Roberts, third place to number 19, Chris Mills. Fourth place to number 65, Lee Bartlett. Fifth place to 172, Walter Neem. And in sixth place, number 177, Darren Sargent. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 41.84 seconds. A speed of 49.48 miles per hour. Tony Dart. Number nine, Mitch Gotten, making no mistake this time. He's well gone. 77, Tony Dart in second place, then Ollie Allen. Then Mitch Gotten then powering towards victory as he completes two laps distance. From Tony Dart, from Holly Allen. Mitch Cotton then winded up the motor. Last lap flag for Mitch Cotton. Tony Dart in second, Holly Allen in third. Then Dave Rumsey, then Bill Bolt. Mitch 
a victory wheelie for Mitch Cotton, Tony Dart in second, Holly Allen in third, then Dave Rumsey, then Paul Knott, Gareth Roberts, Lee Cross, and Bradley Kite. CC Solos, race 31 was a win for number nine, Mitch Cotton in second place was number 77, Tony Dart. Third place was number four, Holly Allen. Fourth place was number 10, Dave Rumsey. Fifth place was number 29, Paul Knott. Sixth place was number seven, Gareth Roberts. Seventh place was number 28, Lee Cross. And in eighth place, number 495, Bradley Kite. The winner's time was 1 minute 33.66 seconds at a speed of 53.81 miles per hour. Tim Mount, Dave Bollingsby, Lee Bartlett. That's a great official result with you in a moment. Here for number 18, Peter Lloyd. Second place to number 41, Darren Rolfe. Third place to number 26, Mark Giles. Fourth place to number 12, Dean Garrod. Fifth place to number 14, Paul Austin. Sixth place to number 174, Robin Pelcher. Seventh place to number 17, Tim Mount. Eighth place to number 5, Dave Hollingsby, and in ninth place, number 65, Lee Bartlett. The winner's time was 1 minute 32.36 seconds, an average speed of 54.56 miles per hour. From the top, 18, 41, 26, 12, 14, 174, 17, 5, and 65. 1 minute 32.36 seconds, 54.56 miles per hour.
Uh, I can't remember Castle Corner Pump, there's just one little bump over there somewhere in the entrance to that corner. It uh, throws you wide when you hit it, causes a few problems. 843, Hugh Phillips and Alan Thomas from Hugh Phillips and Odin Castle from Irwin Balvin and Odin Castle. race around this top turn by the pits and here they come Hugh Phillips and Alan Thomas beautiful corner from them mean in business now we're going to try and get through into that final with a one win and one second place only not sure what happened to them in there first right? That flag comes out. Your Phillips will be pleased to see that one. Not as pleased as he'll be to see the checkered flag when that one comes out. Your Phillips and Alan Thomas. Erwin Bowman, Odin Castle. Then it's Steve Maitland and Dave Mullins. And uh, checkered flag comes up this time. 8-4-3, Hugh Phillips and Alan Thomas take the win. Owen oh, Balmer Road in Castle takes second. So the Welsh are first and second in that one. Then it's Steve Maitland and Dave Hollands. And then Paul Holland and Paul Durrant. That's race 33 and a win there for number 8-4-3, Hugh Phillips and Alan Thomas. Their first win of the afternoon at the, the current reigning British champions. In second place is number 7, Owen oh, Bowman and Odin Castle. Third place to 1 2 1, Steve Maynard and Dave Holland, and in fourth place, number six, Paul Holland and Paul Durrant. No other finishes, the winner's time by minute 50.91 seconds, an average speed of 45.44 miles per hour. Second place, it was number 18, Rob Heath and Andy Butler. Third place to 123, Billy Penfold and Jay Rendell. Fourth place to number 8, 
Paul Grayson and Richard Fremantle. And in fifth place, number 27, Clive Holland and Neil Marshall. No six finisher, the winner's time was 1 minute 50.59 seconds, an average speed of 45.57 miles per hour. Richard Murray. 
A win for number one, five one, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. In second place is twenty five, Johnny Penfold and Carl Bell. In third place is number one four two, Terry Nicholas and Richard Murray. Fourth place, number two oh nine, Ron Jarvis and Michael Moore, and in uh, no other finishes. The winner's time was one minute fifty two point one two seconds, giving an average speed of forty four point nine five miles per hour. him in this race like Rob Wilson did to him in the last one. Rob Wilson seems to be absolutely flying here this afternoon. Rob Wilson and Tony Miles, Rob John, Halsey and Jason Glenny, and Duncan Fish and Mel Fivey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fuller and in Simon Wall, Paul Phillips. The sidecars, race 37, a win for number 74, Duncan Torres and Simon Beanie. In second place was 247, Harry and Mark Ross. In third place is number 16, Mark Sharon and Kevin Fuller. And in fourth place was number 21, Simon Wall and Paul Phillips. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 28.61 seconds, an average speed of 50.21 miles per hour. Sees, but uh, very useful tool there when you get one sorted out that's going to be a real flyer. Lee Ray and Nicky Owen 
Scott Whitner picks it up and wins it from 75, Lee Street. From 31, Paul Simmons, then John Pelcher, Chris Still, Brian Cornelius, Chris Pye, Colin Mandry, and Gordon Fennings. That result officially in a moment. In his first defeat as champion, and Keith Strudwick, what a feather in his cap, beating the British champion. Don't do what I did, I put it in the wrong race. I'm giving you a fair word in here. Marked in your program is race 42, the 250cc final. And the winner was 1-2-4, Keith Strudwick. In second place, it was the British champion, 75, Lee Street. In third place, it was 31, Paul Simmons. In fourth place, it was 49, John Pilcher. In fifth place, it was number 82, Chris Still. In sixth place, 48, Brian Cornelius. In seventh place, number 59, Chris Pay. In eighth place, 122, Colin Mandry. And in ninth place, number 199, but 119, Gordon Fennings. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 40.62 seconds. An average speed of 50.08 miles per hour. What? The left-hand side car's coming to the line then. Head to the first turn first. 
Fish and Malcolm Ivey in second place. Then it's Harry and Mark Ross. And then uh, Stefan and Carl Blythe. Well, uh, problems, it's a Mick Cave actually, that's not James Rogers. Mick Cave has problems with the uh, big V twin Suzuki. Sounds like it's uh, the prime of the at the moment. Lee Ray, Nicky Owen, leading from Duncan Fish and uh, Malcolm Ivey, challenging hard there in second place. Harry and Mark Ross in third. Stefan and Carl Blythe in fourth. Mick Cave have suffering problems there. Of course, not down on one It's only a five hundred. It's a stripper now. Very heavy stripper. Sure, it's only beating on one lung. Lee Ray, Mickey Owen then leading the pack. The checkered flag is out. And then number 30, Stefan and Carl Blythe. Bring out the rear. Just got it going back on two cylinders for the last lap. Mick Cave and Dave Hogan. Sidecar B final and right hand sidecar B final. The winner there was number nine, Lee Ray and Nicky Owen. In second place it was number 18, Duncan Fish and Malcolm Ivey. In third place was number 247, Harry and Mark Ross. And in fourth place it was number 30, Stefan and Carl Blythe. In fifth place, Mick Cave and Dave Hogan. No other finishers. The winner's time was 1 minute 29.56 seconds, an average speed of 49.68 miles per hour. CC final is underway and it's Wogan that makes it to the front. Wogan goes out of the first turn first, Les Rums is there in second place and Richard Smith in third. Wogan goes after it. Wogan's through on the inside but Wogan's going wide. Richard Smith is coming back on the inside, Wogan's taking the wide line. Who's it going to be? Oh, it touches, they come down to the finish straight there but... Uh, Smith, it's Wogey. Richard. It's Les Rumsey, Matt Edrington, Gareth Roberts, Nathan Irwin, Brian Cornelius. They're tightening up in that uh, fifth spot. It's 33, Richard Smith is going for it. With one more lap to go, it's Richard Smith from Wogey Giles, from Les Rumsey. Can Les Rumsey hold it? Matt Edrington is chasing for it. Giles in second place. Les Rumsey gets the third. Then Matt Edrington, Brian Cornelius, Chris Mills, Lee Bartlett, Nathan Irwin and Terry Massinger. The solo final and a cracking race it was too and a fine win there for number 33, Richard Smith. In second place, it was number 300, Wogey Giles. Third place, what an incredible feat for a man who's not ridden a race
race and right now for him when he is 101 Les Ramsey in fourth place is number five Matt Etherington fifth place number 48 Brian Cornelius sixth place is number 19 Chris Mills seventh place is number 65 Lee Bartlett. Eighth place is number 83, Nathan Irwin. And ninth place is number 213, Terry Massingham. The winner's time is 1 minute 37.32 seconds and a speed of 51.78 miles per hour. Doesn't get the best of the start. He's the last one to the first corner, but Tony Benfold streaking away right at the moment. Tony Benfold and Carl Bell. And Andy Butler. Then the uh, ex British champions, Martin Cuff and Jason Ralph. They start to make their move now around the outside on that pits turn. It's very, very close on that uh, corner. You can put them all in the back of a transit van, and uh, I don't think I'd want to be sitting on one of those outfits inside the back of a transit van. Round they come then. Ethan Andy Butler, but look at uh, Martin Cuff going right round the outside. Tony Benfold still hanging on to it, and uh, Rob Ethan Andy Butler moving straight through on the inside of Martin Cuff. Goes back in position behind uh, the Welshman of uh, Irwin Bowman and Odin Castle. So, not the British champion, not having all his own way at the moment. Tony Benfold with uh, Carl Bell in the chair. The last lap flag goes out for them. Oh, well, Martin Cuff goes into the ropes. Uh, can't see where Jason is. Red flags are up. The race is being stopped. Well, we've got to see now the uh, things have cleared. That we do have a passenger on the on the floor over there. And, uh, Jason are up on the floor, and uh, first man over there, first rider over there is Lee Ray. Nope, second one over there, I think, the right. Martin Cuff was the first one. And it's after three laps, and the win goes to number 25, Tony Benfold and Carl Bell. Second place to number 18. Rob Heath. <laughs> Eighteen, Rob Heath and Andy Butler. Third place to number seven. And that's Erwin Bauman and Odin Castle. Fourth place and we're on four two. It's uh, 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 Richard Murray, the passenger, and the and, and the drivers. Gone again, isn't it? No. Terry Nicholas. Terry Nicholas and uh, Richard Murray. And in fifth place is one five one Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. No six finisher, no time, no speed due to the enforced stoppage.
like that. He'll want to win this one. There goes Rob Wilson in front. John Halsey is right there with him. Into the first turn they go, and Rob Wilson's right in the back wheel now. John Halsey pulls through on the inside. John Halsey picks it up. Rob Wilson goes there. He's in the hand of the street. Those two are running hammer and tire. John Halsey, Jason Glenny leading. Rob Wilson, Tony Miles in second place. Those two battle on as they power out in front. All the rest of the field, Mick Taylor and Tony Bates, we tried to take that third from Duncan Tolos and Simon Beanie, they didn't quite get there that time. Flat out out of that time, Mr. Beanie, John Halsey and Jason Beanie. Three from Bob Hilton, Tony Miles from Duncan Tolos. And Simon Beanie. <laughs> then it's Mick Taylor, Tony Bates, Neville Penfold, and Graham Ashby. And Neil Owen, Dylan Davis, bringing up the rear. <laughs> Each man trying to get a point on the others. John Halsey, Jason Glenny leading. Rob Wilson and Tony Miles in second place. Then Duncan Tolos and Simon Beedy. And then this big scrap between uh, Mick Toll and Tony Rosby. Never been bold in Graham Ashby and Neil Owen and Dylan Davis. Tony Bosby in four, then Neville Penfold and Graham Ashby, and followed home by Neil Owen and Dylan Davis. Another cracking race here at the GTSA. John Halsey and Jason Glenny. Show them a bit of appreciation as they come round, ladies and gentlemen. Show them a bit of appreciation. A great race there. And uh, John Halsey took the bull by the horns on the first turn and never looked back. I won't give you the results. I want you to clap and shout and wave, so put the program down. Make a fuss of these lads. They've tried hard this afternoon. They've done very well. And uh, I knew that uh, John Halsey, Jason Glenny wouldn't want to lose that one. Not after that. <laughs> Result was a win for number 13, John Halsey and Jason Glenny. Second place to number 24, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. Third place to number 74, Duncan Tullis and Simon Beanie. Fourth place to 62, Mick Toll and Tony Baysby. In fifth place was number two, Neville Penfold. And uh, Graham Ashby. And in sixth place, it was number 14, Neil Owen and Dylan Davis. The winner's time was 1 minute 25.24 seconds, giving an average speed of 52.2 miles per hour. CC solo A final. Ollie Allen takes it up. Ollie Allen picks it up on the front line. The power's in there first. So it's in the middle of the Mitch Cotton comes past Ollie Allen trying to take that third place. He's very wide around that corner, trying to go on the outside of 77 Tony Dar. But it's Peter Lloyd that leads it. From Tony Dar in second place. Mitch Cotton in front. Mitch Cotton goes for second. Tony Dar fights back. Comes out of that corner, flat out, hasn't lost any of his flair, he's there, 18, Peter Lloyd, from 9, Mitch Cotton, from Tony Dar, from Ollie Allen. Around the turn they come, and the uh, last lap flag is in their sights, it's 18, Port Peter Lloyd is going for it, Mitch Cotton is really changing hard in second place. Then it's 77, Tony Dow, then on the other. Peter Lloyd takes it. Mitch Godman in 
second, Tony Dar in third, followed by Ollie Allen, Dave Ramsey, Mark Giles, Paul Knott, Gareth Roberts and Darren Rowe. Official result for you in a moment, another cracking race here at Hawley. Tony Dart, well, they couldn't try any harder, could they? They set a good pace, they put up a good show here this afternoon. And as they make their way down that back straight, which is, uh, of course, a no-go area for spectators, we will get off to the 500cc solo final. There's a win for number 18, Peter Lloyd. Second place to number 9, that's Lee Ray and uh, that's, <laughs> see what again, like. number 9, Mitch Cotton. Number th in third place, number 77, Tony Dart. In fourth place was number four, Ollie Allen. Fifth place, number 10, Dave Rumsey. Sixth place, number 26, Mark Giles. Seventh place, number 29, Paul Knott. Eighth place to number seven, Gareth Roberts. And ninth place to 41, Darren Rolfe. No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 31.38 seconds, making the fastest time of the day at 55.15 miles per hour fastest time of the day, the 500cc solo final. Come on, here they come. Rob Heath and Andy Butler are right alongside Tony Penfold. And Carl Bell. And well, we got Dominic Doyle. Look at that lovely trophy, Sue's holding it there, look, that's a lovely trophy, that is. These two are hard at it, they both want that trophy. <laughs> hard at it, I should say so. Rob Heath and Andy Butler, first their way through to the front. Tony Penfold, having already won the left-hand final, would also want to take the first five trophy. between these two and look there's only a barge length in between them that sort of gap can be closed up on one corner and Tony Penfold's doing it Tony Penfold's coming right around the outside Rob Heath is, and, and Andy Butler holding that tight inside line and now that's up to about three bikes advantage so uh, looks like Rob Heath and Andy Butler could have this one in the bag but uh, Tony Penfold is right there these two are still not very far apart as they enter the pits turn again. <coughs> Tony Penfold now trying the inside line and uh, really coming up alongside Rob Heath. It's going to be a tight one. One more lap to go. Tony Penfold squeezes in there and he's got his wheels in front, but Rob Heath cuts back. Rob Heath cuts back. It's a cracking race. Tony Penfold cuts back on the outside and he's got half a lap left to go in this one. Oh, they're side by side. They could have been any closer than that on the start line. Into this last turn they come then. And again, Tony's from the inside, he goes for the outside, he's right over the back wheel of that bike, but he's not going to get there. Oh, how close was that? How close was that? I'm not the judge, I'm just the announcer. Down, Batty! Down, Batty! Smythe Trophy, race 47 in your program. Do either of these two know who's got it? Looks like one of them thinks he's got it. Race 47, the first Smythe 
trophy. And the winner was number 18, Robbie and Andy Butler. And in second place was Tony Benvold and Carl Bell. What a cracking race. Who's going to give him a push to get that bike going again then? Three. And that lovely trophy from the Delectable Sue. Sure, I'm never a crumpy line out presenting trophies when I rode, you know. I always got the old founder member of the club at about 82 years of age. I wasn't going to kiss him for any money. Rob Heath and Andy Butler, they're going to take some room for a ride for a lap then. No, so he's not going for a ride. They don't want to take you for a ride. They want to take you for a ride. <laughs> what are they, queer them, Luke? <laughs> Sit on the back, Sue. There they go, then. Rob Heath and Andy Butler, the winners of that lovely Burt Smythe trophy. And although when the uh, three outfits really contested that race, the first two really did contest it. Both smiles, left hand side cars, that's a win for number 18. Rob Heath and Andy Butler, second was 25, Tony Penfold and Carl Bell, in a time of 1 minute 52.48 seconds, a speed of 44.8 miles per hour. 18.25, 1 minute 52.48 seconds, 44.8 miles per hour. We are now waiting for the GTSA Shield right hand sidecars, the Burt Smythe Trophy winners Rob Heath and Andy Butler and he brought the girl back, what a smashing pair of fellas they are. <laughs> now brace ourselves in for the big rush of the right hand sidecars, the last race of the afternoon. Race 
48 then, the GTSA Shield is a win for 24, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. In second place was 62, uh, Mick Toll and Tony Baseby. In third place was number 13, that's probably 17, <laughs> which would be Dave Steer and Rob Sharrick. In fourth place was 247, Harry and Mark Ross. And in fifth place was number 16, uh, Mark Sharrick and Kevin Fuller. No sixth place. The winner's time was 1 minute 26.27 seconds, 51.57 miles per hour. Show your appreciation. They've had some very good races this afternoon. They've, very, they've done very well. And, uh, oh, look, they're going to be in the girl back. I don't believe that. <laughs>